It goes Nesco in the sun. He's gonna be like, what? <laughs> Nesco in the sun! Like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's like, power is activated. Okay, <laughs> again. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, his whole face is red. Oh my God, is he gonna be? Uh, she can only probably say Okai, though. Know? Yeah, she's probably gonna say a few words. No, she gonna say yeah. Inosuke. <laughs> Inosuke. <laughs> she can only. Yeah, she can't say too many words. Welcome home, Inosuke. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, that was a good scene. Sinichu's like, yes, and like, okay, you know, scared. <laughs> you can't say his name correctly. Oh, I knew it. Demon Slayer time, everyone. Nesco shot is back. So hello, everyone. This is the actual reaction of Demon Slayer season four, episode one. I have the episode here, guys. Okay, but of course, because of copyright, you know, I might take this video down myself quickly. Okay, so seriously. If you like the video, subscribe to someone right, and maybe it won't stay up that long because you know Demon Slayer is quite notorious, right? I've had issues myself with season three, right? And a bunch of people have issues with season three as well. Also, of course, means that I'm not gonna show you like the full clips or whatnot, right? I can do that. Obviously, not gonna stay here in fair use, but I have to say I'm a little worried because they're very all protective of Demon Slayer, but I am also staying in fair use this video, guys. Uh, so you know. It is, it is what it is, right? But uh, it is quite interesting. Uh, obviously, I like Demon Slayer. And I say this thing here, just generally speaking. Uh, you know, I like Demon Slayer, right? And I always find it so funny. Almost every time you say that, people are like, Oh, it's like uh, mainstream. Uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I always find it so silly, right? Because for me, this is a sheep mentality. Uh, like, it's so ridiculous to me. Some people can't like what's popular. You know what I mean? Like, like not liking what's popular... It's because it's popular. It's the same thing as being a sheep. Whatever, I, I digress. But I want to point it out. No, I like Demon Slayer. Is it my all-time favorite anime of all time? Maybe not, but it's like up there, right? And I'm very excited for next season, of course. We have Corner Super, of course, behind me, right? Mushu Tenshi, Demon Slayer, uh, Magademia. And, like, next, season is, next season is like the best season of anime of all time, right? Like next season is... Okay, well, this is a Nesco episode. <laughs> like, I don't know where to put her. Uh, it's hard with Nesco. She's like, you know, she's a. Oh, I can't hold my hand. Nesco, you can be up here, Nesco. You can, see, you can run behind me, Nesco. No one can see you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I am extremely excited for next season, guys. But anyway, let's start watching the episode. So, three, two, one, and go. So, we see the two Hashiramas. Yeah. Coming in here. So castle yeah. hmm. Some in the village. I found out okay. Yes, he's his brother. <laughs> he's the angry one. Yeah, we know he's the angry one. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have a supper. He's the angry one, certainly. Hmm. So this, I, I, I'm, obviously, I'm an army only, right? Um, I'm an army only. Uh, yeah, there's a guy running with a woman. So this, this is like one demon versus two Hashirama. So he sounds like he's like really toast, man. Plus some other dudes with him. Uh, but this might be a trap, though. This definitely isn't following exactly like how last episode ended. No, this is like some 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 weird completely else. But I'm sure we're gonna get back to like uh, Nesco and so on later, right? With the whole day walking. Hmm. But they guys clear demon though. Nice and zooming out there, yeah. That classic, like, um, rotoscope that they're using. Like, they're definitely this now, and it's spinning around. Oh, and it's like demons behind every wall. I think it's pretty good here. Yeah, just twisting around every every wall has like a demon hiding behind. Okay, let's see then. <laughs> yeah, it was like, but he got the snake thing, yeah, like snake Kashirama move. But like, they made like a snake with the actual scene there, yeah, bam, no problem. 
So these, these are like a bunch of demons, but yeah, they're fighting like two Hashiramas. So it seems like they're completely outmatched, though. It's like, yeah, the super angry Hashirama. <laughs> so, the, oh yeah, it's his, his whole katana. His katana is like a snake katana. Where's my katana? I'm so sorry. I forgot to bring my katana. Like, straight up, man. I, I, I should have my katana with me. It feels embarrassing now, yeah. This is like, how can I make a Demon Slayer video not having my green katana with me? Like, seriously. I'm gonna go and get it, okay? I'm just gonna go and get it, guys. Now, this is how you get to watch a Demon Slayer in the episode. Yeah, <laughs> season 4, episode 1, guy. Got my Nesco, got my katana, got my Demon Slayer mask over there. I was like, I can't remember if I get I have a Demon Slayer mask, right? I can't remember where I put it now. But let's keep watching here. Hashiramas are owning them. Snake Hashiramas, oh yeah, let's keep going. But this is how you, you do it. Like, here's a green katana. I was like, my god, where's my green katana? He got, yeah, because he had my katana, right? And also, usually, I should wear my. I usually wear my coach gi, right, to watch this episode. <laughs> That's you know, what I ever go about. It. Honestly, it's too late here now, too. <laughs> I want to change clothing. My Yamat yeah, outfit has to go. Oh my god, there's so many demons, though. Here we go. He, he got a green katana like me, baby! Green katana un unite! There we go. He's gonna own them. Mmm. He got his like, serpent snake abilities. Yeah. Oh yeah, so it's like a snake. But I guess she's like a breeding snake, right? So it's like... He has like a stick with him, though. <laughs> of course he's gonna fight with him. Yeah, this guy is like, oh yeah, this is going really bad for my team, man. <laughs> Dear you, it's not demons. <laughs> that was a good comment. Dear you, it's not demons. Dear you, Hashiramas! Dear you, Hashiramas! Exactly. I mean, I'm sorry, but I saw his, when I saw his green katana, I was like, I need to get my own katana, <laughs> I need to get my own katana, yeah. I was it's through. Green katanas! Yeah, I was just like, it, it embodied myself there, I was like, oh my god, this is... Okay, so he got like some titans coming now. This looks like straight up some titan, seriously. They don't look like normal demons. Those are speaking normal demons, but they look like something like purple-based... Hmm. There's a lot of them. I guess it was fooder. Okay. Serpent breeding third form. Um he jumps down in the from the from the ceiling. Coil coil I I don't know really how he did it. I don't know, like, he jumped off the ceiling and then like he just flew up. But yeah, this guy got like a he got he really got like a bunch of like Goon demons. This is this guy. Oh, look at that green. Oh my god, I feel I feel the power now. Standing here with my green katana, like yeah, this there we go. Demons is a four, baby. Like I just feel like I'm incorporating. <laughs> yes, this is how we do. <laughs> he doesn't like a green tornado. He's sorrow. <laughs> he is. He has a green tornado. Yeah, wind breeding. Of course. Yeah, of course. He's a wind breeder because of course usually green is wind in anime of course he's a wind breeder for a green katana baby there we go green katana people unite oh actually i do think he looks similar to me honestly in body shape like so on yeah i got longer hair than him but otherwise we are probably pretty similar and i was a little rough guy on edges <laughs> he's probably me when i was like 20 seriously honestly i look i look a lot like this hashira wind hashira and me uh, look Oh, and he jumped into the whole, like, castle of the... Yeah, he jumped into the infinity castle thing. I guess. And a bunch of demons spotting them. They're like, what? Yeah, they kind of jumped into it. Exactly, and everything is... So they feel they're gonna die now, then. If they jump into Mugen right now. Michael Jackson is gonna, like... No, the door is closed. His poor katana, man. That's interesting. He escaped. I, I thought first he was gonna actually gonna like fly into it. I, for a moment, thought they were actually gonna land into. You know, that was shocking to me. I, actually, this is pointed honestly. I thought they were gonna like you know fly into the actual. So his katana got stuck in at the ground instead. I thought they, I thought they were like actually gonna move it, move it, and move it, like kill him or something. You know, I thought they were actually gonna land inside of like his infinite, uh, you know, like whatever you call it, like Harry Potter castle. Yeah, we're like, oh, the ceilings are all teleporting or something. So that would have been easier to kill them, right? You get two Hashira in there, 
that you could defeat them, you know, like two Hashira versus all the highest demon guys. Be a good way to like defeat them, but maybe maybe you must can't enter there? I have no idea what the rules are for his uh, leave a couple below guys. Not a spoil too much, but can is one question, that is fine. One question to you demon slayer fans out there guys, okay? You Nesco guys out there. Can a human enter Mugen's like infinitely casting team, right? Because I guess I mean I, I I'm assuming typical role playing game whatever, right? I'm assuming that the final battle would be inside the caster, but those guys were like reacted by it. But maybe the door is timed perfectly, so I don't know. It looks like humans couldn't enter it, but I think they use like they use perfectly mixed the door or something, right? That's good. I think so. But who knows? Who knows? Little unsure, honestly, little unsure. But I guess it was like. <laughs> oh, Pais come here. <laughs> this is so anime, I'm sorry. This is Shinobu, and like, why is he standing on like, is it, like, or, like goldfish, and like, her Pais are like covering the water? <laughs> but it's so anime, I'm just, it's like, like ah, thank you, Rakan! It's like that scene, you know? I was saying that, that was so anime, because it was like, she was standing, right, you know, with her, her, her female parts, right? And it was like, the water of the surface was just, just cutting it so they look bigger. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was so, oh, it's just so anime. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, we're gonna like, like, you know, it's like a, they're zooming in on her, her, you know, her female parts. Yeah, I was like, yeah, good. <laughs> uh, but anyway, sorry. Talking about Nesco. Get over Nesco, Sean. Now she's watching Focus. Our beautiful sun girl. Yeah, Nesco, our... Cities, but obviously he wants her. I like that in the backstory that we saw uh, how he dreamt of conquering this power, right? Like he basically has created all the demons because he actually wants one of them to be the sun immune, right? Like he wants one demon to be able to overcome his weakness of the sun, and that's why he made Nesco eventually, right? I think that's yeah. Oh look, she, her death flag is massive. Jesus Christ, man! Oh, here we go. And then we get the training arc. Symbol. Um, is it over now? No, I think so. No, <laughs> I think I think it's like one episode late, right? <laughs> Every orc, Tanya you know, is back in hospital <laughs> after eleven. But poor Tanya, you know. Every orc is like. Every like you know, episode one, in time, you know, was like in your like, hey, hey guys, I only broke eleven ribs this this season. Yeah, it's like he's back there. Yeah, and they're talking about, of course, like the the Tengu and so on. Captain Plant, as I call him. He was annoying in the end, though, I have to say. Yeah, eventually, I mean, I liked the whole fight. It was a really, really amazing uh, fight. But it felt a little bit, to some extent, almost tedious. Where it was just like, oh, can he finally lose? <laughs> you know, after they, you know, he turned into a smurf and so on. You're like, oh my god. It was cute, though. But at the same time, you're like, oh my god, he keeps, keeps going, man. This guy's like, he's so powerful. Oh yeah, she's just fine, I guess. Oh, she! Yeah, Kala Shaz is fine. She's just like, oh, whatever. Yeah, Mitsuru is fine. She's just like, she's eating a lot of food and she's back in health. <laughs> Tanya is also eating food. <laughs> like this guy is like, you're turning into Hashira. He's just like, oh, I'm fine too. <laughs> he's rice. He's like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's the symbol of being Hashira. You can just eat a lot of rice and heal all your wounds, man. Turn it like Clufin. Drink a glass of milk. Yeah, I think take one sip of this and you're fine. Yeah, it's like mm. food. Bam! I'm healthy again. Yeah, it's like heal all my wounds. No problem. <laughs> hmm. It's a good question. Is she turning into a demon even more? Yeah, is she evolving? Demonic power wise. Or human. Well, I mean, she never really got to eat human, right? So, maybe this that's why she's finally managed, you know, to become the, the daywalker because she, she is, like I said, converting back to humanity to some extent, which makes her, like, immune to the weakness, right? Hmm. But I wonder if Mugen can learn that ability, because he's obviously super not innocent, <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if her ability needs you to be an innocent demon. Like, you need to be a good demon to use it, perhaps. Like, it might not be, like, possible for him to learn it, you know, or copy it, but he's like a genetic guy, so maybe. Hmm. 
det är när vi går till Hashira meeting här. Stone Hashira. Haven't seen him do anything yet, right? I don't think so. Obviously, it's Wind Hashira is me. I feel that now, yeah. <laughs> Love Hashira is the best of all courses. Yay! She's all happy and like, hey, I'm here, guys. I'm healthy. They're like, yeah, okay, sure. And Miss Hashira is the lamest one. Come on, this is boring. He was boring. Oh, interesting. He never met like upper rank one. It's interesting, yeah. And they almost fell into the infinite world thing, so. <laughs> Kana. Kya! <laughs> yeah. Love Hashira. Oh, I feel perfect! <laughs> yes, <I'm>, yeah! <laughs> yeah, she's like, he's flirting with me! <laughs> Uh, but I, you know, I want to love Kanna Hanesava voice actor, yeah. <laughs> but she's basically like, yeah! Of course, I am wearing the Yamato shirt, which is perfect for Shinobu's day, but yeah. This arc is called, of course, Hashira Training Arc. It's very focused on the different Hashiras then, because now I'm spending a lot of time introducing the different Hashiras' powers, I guess. Oh, is the master dead or something? Because now she's the weird instead. He's almost injured, right? Yeah, okay, he's not dead yet, but he's like, he's almost dead. Oh, he can never come back? Sounds like he died, man. Sounds like the master is dead. She's like, he's like, she's just like, oh, he's so tired right now that you can never see him again. Not like, not today. She was like, he will never appear again. So it sounds like he is dead straight up. She might just tell him the truth. He's like, oh, he's really exhausted. He's just gonna, like, you know. Seriously, yeah. Like, sometimes she basically was like, the master will never ever appear again. Like, he, he might be just dead, right? She didn't tell him that. And, uh, yeah. Aman will take over, said. Maybe. But it really sounded like she was like, oh, he's never coming back. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. No, he's conquered the demon. Musa, if, he get, if Musa gets it, man, then he's, you know. Exactly. They seem to be fully aware that he also used one Nesco, right? So he's gonna send the upper guys now to us, yeah, like. But it makes sense, though, that Musa would send the upper. The... <laughs> Look at her bird with the love meeting. <laughs> her, her bird with, like, the love. Um... Yeah. Oh, would the bird more or his event? What? Yeah, obviously the first breeding. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They have the mark of the the face, the sun mark thing. Tanjiro has. Yeah, now they're gonna explain the sun face thing mark, right? The also, of course, Nesco also has that kind of the family mark kind of thing. Yeah, because obviously, upper rank one has the is him, right? Of course. Is she finally gonna explain the mark here? Okay, she doesn't know the truth. She's like, I don't know the exact truth here. The whole sun breathing thing. They're almost talking about, you know, the, the, the OG one. Yeah, There's only a single person left with it, you know. The, oh, here we go. The one that wears the mark. Oh, wait, did, did people also get the marks? Is that so like, they, they, I, I, I want that too and it spreads, so like what? Did you give all the marks? Okay, yeah, it's the first fire breeding guy that of course wrote it down, right? Because obviously it's a sun breeding, but better, right? Which is, of course is Tanjiro. Yeah, it's not Hashira, it's Tanjiro, obviously. Tanjiro-san! Obviously for us the viewer, it's... Clearly Tanjiro, we know that for we... But Nesco has it too in her hair basically, right? Yeah, they also have... Uh, <laughs> yeah, she got a love mark, yeah, it's true! It's true! Ha Tanjiro is spreading his disease, man! Tanjiro has made... Uh, 
Yeah, he got the hit. Yeah, she got a love mark. Oh, I got a love mark. <laughs> she got, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Miss Trim is like, oh god, he she gave he gave me a love mark. <laughs> Uh, today, it was like I got powered up, uh, my body felt like really hyped. <laughs> I like it seems so sure that she's like, oh yeah, and I was like, I felt like super powerful and fast, and then I was like, oh my god, and then I was like, love, and then I was like, yeah, we go. <laughs> yeah, bam! <laughs> and then bam! And then bam! And then it was like, bam, bam, bam! And then it was like, poo poo! <laughs> and my body was like, woo! <laughs> and then it was like nipple nipple BAM! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Everyone's like Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mitsuru is explaining how it feels to be empowered by Tanya. <laughs> Tanya. I love it. She was like BAM BAM BAM! It was like BAM! <laughs> and it was like swoosh swoosh my heart I got all excited. <sighs> yeah, exactly. It was all. It was all. You know, that that's how it. Uh, uh, yeah, it was like bam, bam, heart, smushy, smushy, smushy explosion. <laughs> it's like what? Okay, he's gonna play much better. And I was like, okay, Miss Hush, and I was like, let me explain to you calmly. <laughs> <laughs> she's just like bam bam boom 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 <laughs> and it was like rip the rip the <laughs> oh yeah he's just like okay it's my person it was like the flow of poison made me die then Tanjiro was like like buff you up then I felt my flashback <laughs> yes I felt calm <laughs> like, he's just way too calm and like okay I I'll explain to you what happened exactly Jesus Christ <laughs> Mr. Dev is like, what? <laughs> how do we, how can this be so calm? Yeah, like, weird though. Yes. My temperature of my heart was, was uh, 102 <laughs> Celsius. Yes, it was very hot. That's why I got so much powerful. But I guess the point is that because they get heated up by Tanya or something like that, he can move faster and his mist turns into vapor or something. Yeah, like he, I get it. He just got so fast. Yeah, his heart rate was super high. And that's how they... How do you know your degree was 102 Celsius? Oh, well, uh, you know, I know exactly. I'm body heat. I'm a mist guy. I don't know. He's just a weirdo. He's like, I know exactly I'm body heat. Oh, yes. I was reading the meter when I was being uh, treated. Yes. Yes. My body got hotter when I was... <laughs> Mister is like crying. She's just like completely lost. She's just like, what? I didn't think about that at all. But I guess it is that simple in a way. Like the, the heartbeat gets so fast. So they move faster and get stronger as well. I guess. In a way it is that simple perhaps. Yeah, they're all gonna awaken, I guess, the tiny remarks. Um... Yeah, they all, I guess that's what they got to say with Tanjiro. They all want the Tanjiro buff, man. They all want to get some Tanjiro inside of them, yeah. They all want to get blessed by Tanjiro. Tanjiro's juices, man. <laughs> I can't stop now. They all want that Tanjiro juice, <laughs> yeah. Will die? Does that mean will die? If you don't have the mark, you will perish. She will tell them they will die, right? You will all die. She was telling them that you're all dead. Okay, it's like a super long pause here, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, this pause is like a minute long. Dead? She didn't say it, Jesus Christ! No, they just cut the wave. What? She was like, you don't get the mark. This will happen to you. Then it was like a minute, one minute break where the, the camera is panned around like birds and water or something. And then she went back to the, she heard leaving. What? What did she tell them? I guess tell them that they will die right probably. Yeah, that they, they can't defeat the upper demons. What is this cable to? <laughs> Sorry, but I was like, wait, wait, where did this cable go? <laughs> like, yeah, so I just felt holding my feet, and I was like, wait, where did this cable go? Yeah, it's like, why do they have a cable here for? And wait, wait, till more IT stuff. I still don't know what it's. I was charging my DualShock on my PC yesterday. Oh, there we go. I guess. 
<laughs> I was like, wait, where did this cable go? Yeah, I was like, oh, sorry about that. I think he believes in it, but he doesn't want it. Yeah. Yeah, I think Tom Yorker doesn't. I think he actually believes in it. I don't know. He's like, I don't need his help. Yeah. And Mitsuru is like, let's all be friends, Nakama, and love, and so on. Let's just all have a. No! <laughs> that was cute. She's like, no! <laughs> She's like, yeah! <laughs> he just tries to like get, get, uh, get over him. He's like, no! Friendship! But yeah, rock guy is like, no. Oh, he's a stone, uh, sorry, stone, right? But yeah, he's, he's, I guess it could be rock too, even. Translate it. <laughs> Tyler keeps eating. Tyler's on nothing else so for the episode, he's eating. He just eats all the time. We haven't seen Nesco at all the episode except just the beginning. She had a very brief scene of her happy, like in a bed. She's like, yay, you know, like just by herself. But we haven't like seen her since then. I thought it would be more Nesco, honestly, but she, she might probably appear now in the end there. Um. Oh no, not the yellow here, kid. <laughs> no, he's like, I saw this yellow guy. No, not the yellow guy. Oh, it is. Oh no, Sasunitsu. <sighs> Please save me, planet. Save me. Save me, someone. Call me something. Oh, so it's just gonna meet one of the uh, nurses, whatever it is. Kiwi, oh, it's Kiwi Sean, that's true. Oh my god, not Sunitsu. Oh my god, it's a terrible character, man. I yeah, if he, he ruins everything he's in. I don't probably, I don't hate Sunitsu, I feel like some people do probably in an extreme degree, but I don't like him. Like, I, you know. Yeah. Uh. He wasn't really part of last arc. That was good. <laughs> I don't. I don't find it funny either. I find it funny it was annoying. Yeah, they, are we glad you're alive? It's like I guess <laughs> they're like, yeah, good you didn't die. It's like, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Oh, it's like a flirt now though. Sinitsu san. Yeah, always like, how is Shan? Her name, of course, Aoi is blue, you know, because that means blue in Japanese, Aoi. Yeah, so her her name is blue, which is got blue clothing. Here comes Nesco in the sun. He's gonna be like, what? <laughs> Nesco in the sun? <laughs> He's like... Okay, <laughs> So this is like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's like, five was activated. Okay, <laughs> again, uh, yeah, yeah. Nesco is like, she can't say too many words, right? But he's like, okay, <laughs> he's like, ah! <laughs> so Nesco is like exploding. My God, his whole face is redding. Oh my God, is he gonna be? A she can only probably say okay, though. Yeah, she's probably gonna say a few words, right? Oh God, no, he's gonna touch her too well. Oh no, no, Nesco, stop touching my Nesco. Oh. I mean, anything is pretty good, though. <laughs> She might react to him though, like, I don't want to get married. No kick you for you. No, she's gonna say, yeah. Inosuke! <laughs> Inosuke! <laughs> she can only... Yeah, she can't say too many words. Welcome home, Inosuke! <laughs> he killed Inosuke. <laughs> she's like, oh no, I didn't mean it. <laughs> yes! Oh yeah, that was a good scene. Sinitsu's like, yes, and like, okay, you know, scared. You can't say his name correctly. Oh, I knew it. Oh, okay, that was a great scene. I, I, I had to be something like that. Let's go. Oh yeah, she's been. He's been teach. He's been training her to say his name. Yeah, Inosuke, Inosuke, Inosuke. He should get on to say like one name. <laughs> she can only like say one name, like Tan, you know, one in Oski, she doesn't know what the other like. Yeah, she can't like pronounce Sinitsu's name. Uh, yeah, exactly. He's been training her, used to say Inosuke. <laughs> God. That was really good. That was, that, that was fantastic. That scene was fantastic. Seriously, that scene was fantastic. It was like, okay, yeah. Inosuke. <laughs> Here goes the blacksmith. The man that makes my katana. Oh, you got a new katana? He's like, you got a new katana, boy. Yeah, you got to give him a new katana, right? Oh, nice. 
Yeah, it's a rapidish uh, hilt, right? Or your katana, right? You gotta have a hilt here, of course. And now you got a katana with the hilt of uh, Rengaku. My, of course, is a katana of Cyberpunk katana. This is like a. It says, of course, Japanese here, right? On it. Yes. But yeah, important to have a hilt, seriously, with katana. So you can hold something. So, you, so your fingers won't slip when you're holding it. Now, this katana is the whole anyway, though, but still. It's very important to have. Um, yeah, it's like pitch black now. It's like high quality steel of pitch black katana. Destroy. <laughs> Ego description of. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure who's, who's the Swordsmith. It's like we had a special made by a guy that was really into it. Yeah, he just wrote like destroy. <laughs> Pretty sure who wrote it. He was just like it was like a friendly uh, power of friendship katana. It's like, yes, this guy wrote destroy everything. So okay, well, well, that's, uh, interesting. He obviously added later. <laughs> no, it's like I hadn't finished it yet. <laughs> exactly. I told you it wasn't finished when I was making it. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, he's like, well, I'm still pissed off at you, Tiny Row. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you interrupted me when I was making it. Exactly. I need, I need, yeah, I need to show it from the beginning. Why well, is Bogart pulverized? How can he move then? No, he, he really can't have a conversation with this blacksmith guy, it's crazy. And yeah, it's like, you owe me rice now. <laughs> you, owe, you owe me rice dumplings every day of your life. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure, bro. Yeah, it's like... Ah, uh, should have my... Um, I don't know where I put it. I'm sorry. I have, uh, you know, um, I have a blacksmith red mask somewhere. I think it's actually in this bag over here. Um, here in my uh, studio. I have, well, I have too much stuff here, okay? Like, honestly, I have too much stuff, you know? You can't see it, right? But around me, it's like, it's like stuck everywhere. I have like 50 figures there, and I hate it in Oscar. But yeah, I, it's somewhere in the in my in my uh, requisita area over there. <laughs> he goes in Oscar, it's flexing. The yeah, episode's way longer. Oh my god, it's a double episode. Yeah, it's 40. Okay, it's 44 minutes. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, it's American breeder. He's alive. He's perfectly fine. He's got healing powers. Yeah. It's American breeder. He's just perfectly fine. Inoski's like, yeah, I'm here, bros. But I wonder if, ah, damn it, I'm really gonna pause here. But if you can read, because I think it's like a bag over here where I put some anime stuff in. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. See, so, yeah, I have a bag here, guys. Oh, look at that. Okay, in this bag here, next to the studio area, I have a bunch of anime stuff. So. Over here, I think I have one piece. Uh, one piece cookies. Um, what's that? More anime stuff. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at this! Look at this! Oh my god, look at this, guys! Look at this. Oh, 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 oh wrong direction. <laughs> uh, I have the Charlie Sword. There we go. Look at that Charlie Sword. Um, yeah, I'm talking about Nesco's power now. She got the, she's the target of the demons. But yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to find my uh, my uh, black speed mask. But I found a Charlie Sword. Mask is that? That should be somewhere else. Uh, what was this? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh Second Titan. The first volume in Japanese. This is Second Titan, right? And it's, you know, it's not, so, yeah, it's not plastic, that was big. It's the original first volume of a Second Titan. Yeah, you never know what I find in my in my bag, you guys. Never, you never know what I find in my treasure bag, okay? Me more than a treasure bag. It's like a loot box. It's like a loot box of stuff, man. Yeah, you never know where you find anything. Trolling sword, stuff. Um, 
<gasps> a pen? <laughs> Is there no more pen? Ah, a pen? Oh my god. What's that thing? What is this thing? Oh, is that one of these like... One of these like flags? They have in Japanese... Uh... You're just talking about all this little thing. Now that's just kind of boring now. You're just talking, okay? Look at this flag, guys. Okay, look at this flag. Okay, yeah. Whoa, We're in Japan now, baby. Look at this flag. Oh, yeah. Look at this flag, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just angry now. He's angry now. But yeah, let's talk about trading now. Honestly, I feel like it's kind of boring now after they... Because now if it's really kind of fillery, they're just like, oh, yeah, of course you have to trade. Nothing's happening, seriously. Nothing to react to. Just, just... Like, Slitsu gets angry because he wants to train too, whatever, right? Like, Slitsu wants to train too, yeah. Yeah. Um... It's a sign of fire, of course. It's like, but you have this over the... Over the onsen, you know, it's like this... Uh, little flag here. Yeah, feel my Japanese uh, sauna coming on here now. There's a little flag thing there. Yeah, you never know what you find in Raymond and then's treasure berries, but that's, that's true here. Yeah, got the flags. Again. Got the... Oh, again. Got the shot. You just recap me now. Yeah, got the Charlie Sword, baby. Giant Charlie Sword card. This is worth a million dollars. This is a billion dollar. A billion dollar for this card, man. Billion dollars. And then also, maybe like a hundred million dollars for the first original volume of Tekka Titan. Yeah, in Japanese. Ori original language. No subs, you know. So this this bag, this treasure bag here. Got everything. And lastly, I think I saw that One Piece from again, right? One Piece candy. What is this? That's more candy. <gasps> it's pokey. That's about there. What is it? Power bag. It's a power bag in this bag. Oh my god, everything is bag. Okay, anyway. Oh, but genuinely, not this happening episode. It's like a recap. Yeah. You think this is part of me being crazy? Oh, that's book. Oh, that's a one piece bag. One piece. One Piece candies, okay? They're super interesting. Like they look like the One Piece character. They look like One Piece characters. But they're super disgusting. They taste terribly. <laughs> I regret buying them. They taste terrible. Like, they have a... Okay, enough episode finding sword. I mean, genuinely, nothing happened in the episode for like five minutes, at least. Now now it's back to actual happening. That, that was like a filler. Like, seriously, that was like a filler. It's like five minutes, but it's recapping last season. But now we see a new character trading and so on. So now they talk again. That was generally at least like... It's a very long... Oh yeah, the wife is a bag. <laughs> of course, sure, yeah, his wife is squad. <laughs> the hog is so big! <laughs> the hog is so big! Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah so no, no, they all are like, yeah! <laughs> they all are so ridiculous. They're, they're, yeah, their all are is massive, man. I guess the ladies are making, yeah, his three wives are making everyone food, right? Thank you so much. I remember how people was angry at the controversial him having three hot wives. That was hilarious. But he's trading some new random characters. Yeah, I don't know. They're like generic people he's trading. Yeah, he's got a lot of them losers or whatever. <laughs> and then his wives are like, I don't be so harsh on them. They use weak legs. Yeah, they Oh my god, that's ridiculous. All three of them are like giant oppies and they're all like showing off them there. <laughs> and they all went like, but wasn't it like in China where they censored it? I mean, I'm sorry, but I was remembering now how they, you know, yeah, they censored right? Because it wasn't that they had longer sleeves, because now they have very, you know, revealing cleavage. I mean, they're not naked, but the point is they're very much, you know, like they're very, they're very showcasing their, 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 their treasures, right? But I remember, I think it was in China where they like censored that, so they gave them, you know, like much, yeah, much tighter outfits and like longer sleeves, so you could like see their, <laughs> like a Mitsurumi coming here. But honestly, this is a feeder, okay, seriously? I don't think I'll be like, oh, why are you reacting, looking into treasure? Because genuinely, nothing has happened for like the last 10 minutes, okay? Like seriously, guys, uh, nothing is happening right now in the anime. So, first we had like five minutes of recap, right? And then we jump to the waifus, right? Like, you know, tension and his waifus. But generally, nothing's happening here either. He's just talking to his wives 
about the other guy's abilities. Oh yeah, this guy is powerful but and fast. This guy is like you know he has high high stamina. He's just like like kind of like show both thing and giving the other guys rep or something. Like, oh yeah, that guy is powerful. I love that guy. He's like my bro, and it's like nothing's happening honestly. And now we see like you know Wind Hashira, which of course is the coolest guy though with his green katana. Yeah, we see him training some random nobodies, but it's not like the actually is happening. I think he's just like showing his abilities. And then we see yeah, I love Hashira and he's like wrestling or something. Um. It basically is every Hashira is like fighting with generic nobodies. Like seriously. Then we see Snake Guy being like, oh yeah, I can do my snake, you know, heavy jutsu against you guys. And then he's owning some general nobodies. Like it's like, it's like them it's like them using the like level one abilities to own like com complete nobodies. And then we see Stone Guy. I think he's doing the water training, the waterfall. He's like a monk, right? He's like a bushy. He's using the bushy uh, bushy moosey training, whatever it's called. Something like that, Bushi Misu suit and something something. I don't, I don't remember the episode for it, but he's doing the water training where you sit under a you know in like lava or you sit at like a waterfall and you get faced, you know, and like you have to meditate through it, right? His guys are like collapsing. So honestly, yeah, the last ten minutes have been kinda of pointless. Like genuinely. Like, I almost say to be negative. I mean mean genuinely. Like there was nothing happening. <laughs> okay, now though now he's getting a letter here. <laughs> no, stupid bird. Okay, now here we go. Why do you hate me for your bird? Yes. Okay. Now, now here we go. He's getting like, he's getting a yeah. I take me a letter from the master. He took time to give me a. Um. Did he die? No, he's left. Okay, what? Tomioka for some reason is like abandoning them. And the master is not dead yet, but he looks very dead now. Of course, earlier we have... I mean, now I have the episode Sotra again. Yeah, now it's actually Sotra, the main story. She's sitting there trying to help him. I guess he can't walk anymore. Yeah, he's just like lying down. Yeah, your children got you, your will. Yeah, it's like your children will carry on your will, right? He seems to he will definitely die before Musan dies. Honestly, the master seems completely... Okay, he can move his hands slightly, but he looks like he's like almost in a coma. Yeah. His whole face, of course, is covered with... Yeah, so he... Yeah, his best. He might die now then. Yeah, he might die now then, the master. Holding a man's hand here. Maybe. And she's already crying. I think he dies. I'm almost I'm really not sure if it's death or not. He's, he's always kind of in here. And she's like, oh yes, master, I will protect the children. But honestly, it felt like he might survive that. I mean, he obviously will die eventually. But it felt like he's just kind of almost in a coma. I don't know. Was that... Genuinely, I don't know if he died there. Like, he, I guess he died there. But he was very... Like, it felt like he was just tired too. He would be like, oh... Protect the children, thank you, you know, I don't know, honestly. Oh, it's back to the doctor, I think. Yeah, that's when, that's when she fought, of course, the, um, the season one, the muscular ladies. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Um, haven't seen her in a while, you know. But she also has something to do with Musa and Nesco. So she also might want to have Nesco's powers, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this bird is like you should protect yourself from. Close the window, lady. This bird is like you better have your windows closed before someone drinks. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah. Okay. He's still he's still his bird. Though. What the bird is like? You better close your window, lady, before something happens. It's like what? Oh, he's just salty. He couldn't find her for a long time. How did you find me? She's like, how did you even manage to find me? What? Man, this bird is quite skilled. <laughs> this bird is like, oh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be like, I, I, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the guy that sold your house. It's like, what? The bird is like, I did the bookkeeping. What? 
I'm just a male crow, but I managed to read all the human financial records. What? This bird is like, yeah, I've been reading the financial records of the people in your house, following stock trading and I, where you lived. He's like, okay. Yeah, this bird is like absurdly skilled, man. Like, what? I like how he played it off. <laughs> I love that he played it off as like, oh, just a normal bird. <laughs> I'm just a crow. <laughs> it's like normal crow stuff, you know? Just like going into people's financial records. Look at the tax evasion, like what? What? It's like. Yeah, what is this studio? Man, this bird is a bit weird, man. What? Yes, bird, tell her what you want to say. But he comes and scares her. He's gonna tell her that. No, it talks about Shinobu. Yeah, okay, yeah. They want her to go look at Nesco's powers, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they want to recruit her to work with Shinobu to, like, um, f you know, use the power of Nesco. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, she's gonna move to the mansion. Yeah. Exactly, they're gonna assume. It's like, oh, I don't wanna go there! <laughs> That's how this episode ends. I don't wanna go there! <laughs> Demon lady's like, I'm gonna screw you! <laughs> That was a good ending. Demon woman, like, ah, how long can I go to the stupid uh, house of the demon guy? Demon slaying corpse? I wish the poor demon lady. Leave me alone. Yeah. She wasn't super willing to. No, she wasn't really. She wasn't so excited of going to the demon corpse. Demon slaying corpse. <laughs> I should say that it's different corpse. Demon slaying corpse. She wasn't super excited for that. No, she was like, oh, I don't know, man. That was like a death sentence, but. Uh, I guess she might want to do it, right? To finally beat Mu-san. Mu-san-san, -san. yeah, maybe. Uh, but let's review it. I mean, it was a good episode, uh, the first half, but I mean, it's genuinely, genuinely, right? And I mean it, right? I mean, I'll not be like, oh, whatever. Um, like I said earlier, I see some people complaining when I started going through my loot box over here. But, uh, but seriously, like, it's very reminiscing of Earl episode of Demon Slayer. And, like, I like Demon Slayer. So, I, you know, I have a Nesco figure because it's cool, okay. And I got a katana because, well, I, I have a lot of katanas, okay. Uh, but seriously, like, the episode was really good for, like, the first half. But then it was genuinely just like a filler. Yeah, and this is an incurring issue with Demon Slayer, right? Especially episode 1 in season 3 and season 2, same thing there. But also like the last episode and so on of season 3 and so on, right? A lot of this like double episode, this is like a double episode, right? You know, like a 44 minute episode, is an hour. But half of that 44 minutes, it, maybe not half, but at least, at least 10 minutes, are just complete filler recap, yeah. And that's been the same thing for almost every, I feel, double special episode on Demon Slayer. So even though I like Demon Slayer a lot, I have to also say that... It's kind of meh in that sense, right? They, they, they really milk it too much, you know? They milk it way too much. But otherwise, let's review the rest of it, though. Let's review the rest of it. But just to be fair, I have to say that, you know, okay, like, we have to, you know, that happened, and that wasn't very good in my opinion. Right? I think it's very, very fair to say that it was yet another milking it, uh, because if we play it very briefly, right, you have seen it yet, for at least 10 minutes, I didn't time it exactly, it was like 10 to 15 minutes, it was just straight up recap, and then, it, and then it went into a little bit of like, it went from like, almost complete just recap, and then we see, uh, you know, the waifus, sorry, the waifus, the his, you know, three wives, whatever, then talking a bit, and then that went into new recap, <laughs> yeah, and then that was like another recap, and then we just saw all the Hashira just flexing, like literally, you know? Like Michiru is like, no power! And she's just like throwing some guy, yeah, I got the power of muscle, or whatever. And you saw them just showing their abilities, right? But, it, but in that anime way where, like, the characters aren't really showing their abilities, it's kind of like, you know, oh, Naruto got the Rasengan, but he's fighting level 1 goons. So it's like, Kang in the Bunshin, bam, you know, yeah, it's like, that, that kind of thing, right? We don't, we're not seeing Naruto doing like a billion summons, right? He's not doing Tachu Kan, you do student, and it's come like a billion clones. And obviously, he's something like three clones, right? To defeat three guys. That that kind of trading, like we see, you see all the Hashiras, and they're doing their very basic abilities to like defeat these like random goons that they've been training, right? And then, of course, we went to the master, and that's kind of when the story started again, and it was like, yes, we have to train all the humans, right? To become 
strong as Hashiras or whatever. But so it felt like, like yeah, forget yeah, they were training, but it, it was kind of pointless. So anyway, let's ignore that. But but seriously, like a third of the episode is just filler. Like this is let's be honest here. <laughs> seriously, uh, the first half is interesting because it covers the main thing. Of course, is that I guess the two things. Right, let's go with the power. But I think it's more important the episode still though is that Tanjiro uh, has, of course, the sun breathing, the fire breathing, right? They get the fire sun mark in your face. And it felt like the main plot, really, I'm guessing, of course, I'm only, but I guess the main plot of season four is that Tanjiro has to give, give everyone the, the, the mark in the face, right? Because, so now, Love, she got a little like, burn heart thing, and that was, she was like, ah, oh, I felt the heart in there! That was the best, that was the best scene, when Mitsurui was explaining how it felt to get Tanjiro buffed, yeah. And she was like, he was like, kaboom! <laughs> heart power, apple! <laughs> yeah, she was like, I felt the love! <laughs> yeah. Oh god, it was, it was so, it was so awesome, that scene was the best, yeah. I felt that my Mitsurui um, <laughs> impression was amazing, yeah. yeah I, I do, I feel I do a pretty good Kana Hanazawa, I, I, I I see all of her animes, so I feel like it's too a good Kana Hanazawa. Come on, seriously. Her and Awayuki. I heard Minaida! Her and Awayuki. I feel so well as myself, <laughs> genuinely, that I do a pretty good Awayuki and Kana Hanazawa. And then also, obviously, I, you know, Sora Mia from Aqua as well. Right? But, um, yeah, the, that's interesting. So I think that fits with me, like the main plot line, that, okay, he has to teach them or teach them. And, Somehow give them all the mark of Tanjiro, right? And that's gonna be like the main reason they're training, generally speaking. And they didn't show what Amane, what she told them, but I'm guessing like earlier that she's clearly like, well, if you don't get the mark, you're gonna die. Yeah, she's like, well, if you don't level up, right? And unlock this like fire breathing buff mark that gives you like heart beat and you get faster and speedier and stronger or whatnot, right? If you don't get a mark, you obviously die. <laughs> it's like, I felt like it was very hardcore of her being like, well, you know, if you don't do it, you're gonna get toast, okay? You know, in a fun way, yeah. So you either get Tanjiro inside of you or, you get, or, or you're dead. That, that's how it sounded for her, from her. She was like, this is the power we need to be able to fight the upper demons, right? Of, uh, you know, two and one and so on. Yeah, well, she has no chance, right? Honestly, though, it doesn't feel like they have a chance otherwise because, like we saw in the previous season, right? It wasn't like Love and Mist had a very good fights, right? You know, they didn't perform amazingly well against uh, those uppers, and they aren't even the strongest demons, right? So, well, I mean, obviously Tanjiro should be in the end, though. I mean, of course, Tanjiro is gonna be the one to defeat Musan or whatever, but I, but again, at the general point, I think I don't expect Tanjiro and Nesco and so on. To be the one to defeat like one, two, three, four, five, six, basically. <laughs> I mean, I expect Tanjiro to beat, you know, Musan and one and so on. But I think that I, I think that all the Hashiras will probably defeat, you know, like two or three or whatever. Yeah. Uh, obviously, again, people spoil them on Ami and Ami only, but I, I, that's what would be my expectation, right? That, yeah, he, 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 he's gonna obviously beat at least two more people by himself, but. You know the other the other demons. I assume the Hasharas will uh, take care of. Uh, and, and that being said, I mean even if uh, even if you have the upper and lower and all the thing, right? Of course, some of the weaker demons that I assume now Tanjiro can like easily defeat. But you know, still like you know they're, they're that powerful. You know, uh, some of the Hasharas we have to solo those guys too, right? Like the, the guys that are like you know they aren't as strong as the previous main bad guys of Sentry. But they're still maybe on like let's say season two power level or whatnot or level or like you know or like maybe one but you get my point. Those guys still need someone to take care of them, right? Because Tanjiro can't just fight like one one and one and nine and eight or whatever at the same time. You get my point. I was saying this number exactly. But get my point. Like he can't just fight like he has to obviously duel. You know one right. You know so it, the other guys can take care of like eight nine seven or so on. You get the point. Uh, I don't know. I digress. But you're hoping you get my point. Um, that seems to be the main storyline. Another one, of course, is about Nesco. Is it Nesco Shan? Nesco, of course, will be uh, the main thing, right? Nesco will have to. Uh, I mean, but Nesco, I, and this is something I just want to say briefly uh, here in the review part. I really hope that Nesco does just become like a plot object, right? Like a, a, or like a, the MacGuffin that everyone wants. But that's honestly how it seems to be with me now. Having just watched season four episode one, right? It really seems to be that Nesco is the focus, right? Because it ends with 
uh, them summoning the uh, Tamiyoa, the demon lady, the like the medicine demon lady. They summon her and say, "Please see my Shinobu to like understand these powers, right?" And Musan at the same time is like, "I'm gonna summon my guys to get him capture Nesco, right?" So they're all like, "Look, let get Nesco." So if you like both of the sides. The demons and the humans are like, we gotta get Nesco, even though they have a reddit humans, but they have, we have to keep her and experiment and whatever. So everyone is like, get the Nesco. So I'm, a, I'm afraid that Nesco is most gonna be a plot object. Uh, I mean, like, not fight, like, less fight, just like, everyone's trying to grab her or whatnot, or trying to just capture her or someone. That's how it feels. So I hope it doesn't go that. I hope we actually see it become like a. I want Nesco to just be like a, you know, a, like earlier, a fighter, you know, like, like, that was great last season, she transformed and became this, you know, cool fighter lady. Uh, I hope that just remains, right? I hope, I hope she won't become a damsel in distress. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. Yeah, I really hope that Nesco doesn't become a damsel in distress and doesn't have good fights anymore. Uh, that being said, even if she has good fights, I absolutely expect her to be a damsel to some extent, though, right? Because certainly all the old upper demons now will try to kidnap or capture her for Musa. I mean, obviously. Which makes sense storyline-wise, though, because she's a daywalker, right? Um, but I hope she actually will, like, you know, defeat one of the upper demons herself. Uh, instead of just being kidnapped by, like, a very strong demon. Then having to be saved by, I don't know, Wind Hashira or whatever. I want her to be able to, like, watch his fight. You know, I want, to, I want her to, like, get Sul, Sul him or something. That will be way better. I hope, I hope it goes in that direction. Uh, but I am a little worried because she certainly be has become the, how is it, the the key object, right? For both sides too. Yeah, for both sides too. Which I think is fair, again, from a story aspect. Because obviously for Musa, well, obviously why, he wants to be able to walk in the sun. But also for the good guys, because he's basically like the first demon, like Tanya said briefly, that might be transforming to a human again. Like she's like the first like successful demon to become a human again perhaps we don't know exactly right but he theorized that theorized, he theorized that she is you know becoming human which means that they can like cure demons instead of defeating them which is usually a, like a, a good strategy right in most super stuff and not to go over all the shows here right stay on demon slayer but i think that it is very fair to say that uh how, how is it it's a very common strategy, right? That to be able to defeat like, the demons, the two different ways, or vampires or whatnot, is that you either have to kill the alpha vampire or whatnot, right? Like, they turn off the powers. Otherwise, usually it's when they cure them, right? Like, instead of just having to defeat them, you have something that can cure them instead, which means that, because, you know, half or at least half of the demons, right, or vampires or in typical storylines, don't actually want to be vampires and demons, right? So they will just take the cure automatically, because then they can just go back in normal life. And then the other guys, you might be able to redeem them and so on, right? But just immediately, you can, like, remove everyone that was forced to become a demon by giving them power. Yeah, that, that is going to remove so many bad guys. And, and obviously, we then decrease the evil sides uh, tremendously, right? So, yeah, finding, like, a cure of, you know, vampirism or demonism or ghoulism or whatever is usually almost always the key to defeat them. Unless you can just defeat the big baddie and... That just removes all the powers immediately. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it usually depends on the storyline, right? And sometimes you have like a, like a vampire queen or a king or what or an alpha, and if that origin, yeah, OG vampire dies, everyone is cured. But if you don't have that, if it's like, oh, they're just vampires, right? Like, yeah, it, it really depends. Uh, obviously, if you have that, like, like I mean, I assume that if Musan dies, everyone will be cured, right? That's my assumption, at least. Or at least they will, uh, they will either be cured or they will all perish, I guess. But I, I have a hard time seeing that Musan dies and then Nesco also dies because he dies. I really don't think so. Now, of course, she's a daywalker, so she's probably immune to it anyway. But I, I just don't think so. I, I, I think so. Yeah. This is obviously I'm like spitballing now. But I really think that when Musan dies, I don't think the demons will die. I think they will be cured. I think they will you know, revert back to humans. Um... And depending on the powers, they may or may not survive that. Yeah, I mean, one thing might be that, oh, this guy is reverting back, but he's like a 300-year-old demon, so you can't be alive as a human, so he dies with old age, uh, where next course he's going to be fine, right? That would be my guess. I mean, it's obviously just anime, theory crafting, is probably some manga fans out there, read the whole manga, but <laughs> what a moron, yeah, <laughs> he's so wrong. But I, I, I don't know, I feel that's more likely to happen, that it will always be, like, purified from his influence instead of them all is dying. But again, like if, if you're like a 
you know, like I said, several hundred year old uh, demon, then I think it should die anyway because it's like, well, being a demon obviously keeps you alive, right? You know, keeps you uh, immortal, so to speak. So I think that should be like curing it, so to speak. <laughs> we should repair you. Um, but anyway, guys, what more has happened? I feel that was the two only main points, right? Then you're gonna train a lot. That's the review, guys. I don't really know what I can say more about it. Uh, yeah, filler, <laughs> lot filler. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, the, oh yeah. The, uh, Sinitsu scene was really funny too. I mean, honestly, I don't like his character, but it, that, that was he, that was like his best scene when he when Nesco is like, uh, "Welcome home, Inosuke." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the best scene. That was Sinitsu's best scene, straight up. He's just like, "Welcome home, Inosuke." <laughs> yeah, that was that was his best scene. I don't like him, honestly. I don't like him that much, right? But I do think that his comedy is pretty good. Uh, his comedy is pretty good. And I do think that his comedic scenes are more and better later on. That I think is fair. People, some people really hate him as the one. And I wasn't a big fan either. But I think at least he's funnier. It's a two especially. I, th I think he got a lot funnier. So he, he is a character. But I don't think he's a character that's grown on me. I just think that the author has like better jokes around him. You know what I mean? It's not like I like the character more. If he, his, I think he's more likable. But I feel like the author has better you know, jokes structured around his personality. Does that make any sense? So I do think that that has like made it better. Uh, interesting. Uh, in sense. Inosuke is li Inosuke is likable. But I mean Inosuke is just like a crazy boy guy. I mean, Inosuke is just very easy to like you know. But I, I do think that. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment below guys. But I think that those cats like Inosuke. They are always just likable. Yeah like all anime. They, they seem simplistic crazy cool dudes. They are just likable you know. But isn't that. Uh, yeah like the scene that he is like. Or is he, he moves his heart or his organs or whatever? I love it. He's like, I just did it. <laughs> like, and you accept it because I just, Inosuke is a crazy guy. <laughs> but that's why I like it. Like, yeah, of course he did. He's like, come on, it's Inosuke. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense in his weirdness that he could just like, ah, I just move my heart on the side. No problem. He's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> sure. Like, you just, you're like, yeah, why not? <laughs> um. I also, I don't think I said it before, but I felt that I really that's right now that her name is Aoi, and she's wearing blue clothes too. Yeah, I don't know. I think because I talked to a co worker earlier today that in Japanese, uh, blue and green used to be the same word. Yeah. So that's probably why it popped into my head that her name is uh, Aoi, and she's wearing an Aoi ribbon, right? Because all the girls have different colors, right? And she has the blue. I was like, oh yeah, her name is Blue and she has a blue ribbon. It makes perfect sense now. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, well, never. I don't think I ever realized it before, but now I was like, oh yeah, that makes like perfect sense, man. She's she's wearing a blue ribbon. That's that's true. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Stop and have a great day.